Oh, you must be surprised to find me here on this tree. You know, this was a place where I was when I met Jesus for the first time. Or perhaps, I think I should say when Jesus met me for the first time. Oh, by the way, let me just come down to tell you what really happened. And now, looking at me, you would understand why I had to climb up to this tree to look at Jesus. Jesus was a very peculiar man, you know that? He was very, very peculiar. There were always crowds of people around him, waiting to listen to him, listen to him talk about God. You know, there was a lot of difference between him talking about God and the others. He was not just giving out what he read from the parchments. He just spoke from what was within him. People were admiring him. Of course, I only heard people talk about him. I was a senior tax collector at that time. And of course, I had enough and more after having collected the, the tax for Roman rulers. And now you understand why many of my Jewish people hated me. Of course, the money I collected went to the Roman treasury after I had taken my own little profit, which is obvious. One day, I heard that Jesus was passing through Jericho. I was very anxious about it. I wanted to know what kind of a man this person, Jesus, was. I wanted to see with my own eyes and, of course, hear for myself. So, I set out to the place where Jesus was to pass. You know, I thought I could find a place in the front row. And I said to myself, uh, people will not mind me standing in front because my stature would not allow them or would not hide them from having a vision of Jesus. But people did not seem to think that way. They were neither worried about my stature or rather my lack of height. Everyone seemed to be wanted to be right in the front row. So I quickly found a solution. I found a tree near the road I ran and climbed so that I could have a glimpse of Jesus. I was also so happy to be on the tree because nobody would push me back. Least did I realize that he would see me. I knew people would be very busy looking at Jesus. Nobody would notice me. I never thought of Jesus looking at me. When Jesus reached the spot, where I was standing, just below where I was standing, he looked up and he said to me, Zacchaeus, come down, hurry, I must stay at your house today. I could not be mistaken. He called me by my name and it was I into whose house he has invited himself for a meal. And that means in our culture, we were in good terms because according to our culture if we are not in good terms if we are not friends we don't have meals together so I came down quickly and ran as fast as my short legs could take me to tell my servants to prepare a sumptuous meal I was so happy that Jesus had decided to come to my house of course as anyone could expect. As I went away, I could hear people talking at my back. They were so annoyed, they were upset, and they were telling to each other, look, he's, he's gone to the sinner's house. You won't believe it. His visit completely changed me. Yes, I was a sinner, but now I'm a changed person. And I wanted everyone to know this and therefore when he visited, I told him, Look sir, I would give half of my property to the poor and if I had cheated anyone, I would pay back four times the amount. Strictly speaking, I was not obliged to do so. Our Jewish law asked us to give back four times only in case of stealing sheep. But I was ready to do this because I wanted to show that I was completely a changed person. 
uh, I suppose you would say, the devious Zacchaeus has become a generous man. Yes, I was. I was a generous man, a changed person. From that day, there was no more stealing, no more cheating, no more deceiving people. Jesus, who must have heard people complaining about his visit to my house, said to me, Today, salvation has come to this house, for the Son of Man has come to seek out and save what was lost. These words of Jesus stayed with me. I was thinking of salvation. I was freed from my crooked ways of living. I was freed from my craving for money. I was freed from my shameful, dishonest way of living. That meant Jesus had really saved me. I never regretted the idea I had to climb the tree. From that day, I not only climbed the tree, I climbed in my own self-respect and in my own honest way of living. Later, I heard someone speak about Jesus and he summarized his life saying, Jesus came for the lost, the last and the least. He was right and I was one of them. Thank mm -hmm. you.